Yeah. Make the noise louder. Hey, what's up, guys? Brendan Wong here. Nowadays, there are lots of movies released in one year. So every time you want to watch a movie, you gotta choose one movie from lots of them. But what if you choose a bad one? Then you basically waste your money. So how to know if a movie is good or bad before you even watch it? In this video, I'm going to tell you how to choose a movie and what to expect. To know whether a movie is good or bad, the easiest way is to go to the theater and watch it. But it costs money and it takes time. The second way is to read or watch any reviews on the internet, like my reviews. But it generally takes you four to five minutes. So the third way is to go to some movie website and just look at the scores. Today I'm going to introduce you two websites. The first website is IMDb. Anyone can rate a movie on this website. All you have to do is to register an account and you can rate any movie. Since it is open to anyone, the scores on this website is much more closer to what general audience think. If you see a movie score is below 5, f*** it, you're probably a bad movie and that isn't worth your time. If you see a movie score is between 6 and 7, then you can assume that it is an average movie. The story etc are pretty average, but some people might think it is a good movie and some people doesn't. If you see a movie score is between 7 and 8, then you can assume it is not a bad movie and it is above average in every way, and you probably have some climax to make the movie so good. If you see a movie score is between 8 and 9, then it probably is one of the best films of the year. Those films usually have a really good story, and the acting will be great too. Basically, you won't regret seeing this film. If you see a movie score is above 9, then you probably won't get tired of watching this film over and over again. Actually, there are only 4 movies above 9. One is The Shawshank Redemption, second is The Godfather, third is The Godfather Part 2, and the fourth is The Dark Knight. But there's one thing you have to know is that you gotta wait until there are thousands of ratings so the score will be solid. The second website is Rotten Tomatoes. Critics on Rotten Tomatoes, no matter they are professional or amateur, gotta have a certain number of likes from users. So that's how they become a Rotten Tomato critic. First, Rotten Tomato staff will gather online review and they will determine if the review is positive or negative. So for example, if a movie scores is 93% that means 93% of the review is positive. You can read the score on IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes at the same time. For example, The Martian score on IMDb is 8.3. On Rotten Tomato, the score is 93%, which means it is a great movie for both general audience and critics. For another example, Down Jump by Joseph Gordon Levitt score on IMDb is 6.6. .6 which means for general audience it is very average since it got a lot of sex and masturbating scenes but on Rotten Tomatoes, the score is 80% of course I gotta say this movie talks about feminism a little bit but it is not obvious for general audience so it got this gap the two websites I mentioned have their own apps on iOS and Android and you can easily see the scores by googling it but I have to tell you that this is only based on my experience like I said in the beginning, the easiest way and the most accurate way is to go to the theater and watch it for yourself. So that's it, thanks for watching, feel free to share with your friends who likes to watch movie, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.